Hey guys, it's Head Hunter. Where am I me today? There's Chuck. Contour shit and stuff. Drove your wife and Mike. Mike drove all the way up from Marathon today to come see me. No, I'm just kidding. We're at the Miami Boat Show. I'm gonna check out uh, some of the cool new stuff that's out. Um, trying to decide if uh, I want to buy something besides the Comp 31 since I've been waiting for four years. Or Casey's also in the mood for a flats boat, so she said she can get her own loan and get her own boat so she can take it out. So lots of cool stuff going on. Um, this place is really cool to people watch, but check everything else out that's going on in the world of uh, boats and fishing. So more to come, guys. We'll uh, keep you posted. All right. You like this one? I do. <laughs> this is it. The, the 21 or the 18? I'm thinking the 18. We're going to store it. We'll worry about that later, Chuck. Is that the right color, Casey? It's the right color. It is the right color. You like that blue? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sharp. We'll keep looking. All right, we're here in a Mercury tent, V8 300 in white. This is what the new competition will be powered with. I got a picture of them. We got two of them in a crate, but um, actually get to see it out. Pretty cool. Yep, we're leaving Yamaha because we can't get the motor, so we switched over to Mercury's. Yeah, I don't think I need to compensate for something, but a 39 contender with twin 600s, this thing's a beast. Too big? Too big. <laughs> no, it's a little too big. She's wanting a flats boat, staying away from the bay boats, but these things are sharp looking. 26 Camus. Sailfish? It's got an integrated bracket transom. No, it's just got a step. What's it got on the back? Oh, 400s on this one. Well, they just told me that With the sunshade. Intrepid. It's a lot of money across that hallway. <laughs> sea Hunter boats. I'm trying to find one more my size. So we'll uh, we'll keep looking. Oh, Casey's seen some new boats. Oh, she sees the Mako. We'll have to go check it out in a minute, but I'm gonna look at the Sea Hunters. I do like the door inside. <sighs> this wouldn't be too bad. Troll and spread. Quad 450 Yamahas. Oh, we got doors on both sides. This is this is the 39 seat hunter. Live well is kind of small. Unless that's probably the bilge. I bet these are live wells on the sides too. Where? Build probably with good storage. Oh yeah. Oh, I love how they're putting hashes on stuff, all this stuff. Pretty cool. 4 17-inch screens. That's sunbathe on the console. Two rows of seatings. This freaking boat's a beast. Hi guys. This one's a flat bottom. They say it's a like a tunnel kind of boat, but I don't believe it. Kind of liking that one a little bit better, but Casey's also sold on the uh, the Hughes Redfisher so far. But who knows? We get expert consultation from George Poveroma directly. We go way back. <laughs> All right, here we're walking into the realm of stupid boats. Welcome to Midnight Express. Let's check out some of these beasts. Eighteen hundred horsepower on a thirty-six foot boat. 
What do you think, Chuck? I my skin's not dark enough. <laughs> this is insane. All right, Casey's making fun of me because we've seen George Pogoromo, we've seen Clay and Stephanie from Life by the Bow, and Rob Fordyce, Sea Hunter, and she's laughing at me because I haven't taken a picture or a selfie with anybody yet, so I have to try to start getting some pictures or um, filming them on the show too. But no, it's pretty cool walking around to all these booths and seeing the YouTube guys, Fish and Show guys. It's pretty cool shit. Uh, Checking out the regulators. So, these things are pretty cool. Removable setup. Big ass motors on them, but it probably can get 300s on these things. Get live well slash kill box. Yeah, these look like live wells. So at least it's got dual live wells in it. Nice tackle station. Couple sinks, it's kind of cool. Nice tackle station. Just kill these boats with this forward seating. This is kind of nice. I don't mind that. Full floral cooler, probably. You know, really small, but that's okay. But yeah, these guys are killing me with these these forward sitting boats. Regulator, you guys need to stop building this. Not everybody just likes to go sit at the sandbar. All right, checking out the 22 Pathfinder. Seems comfortable. Rod storage. Cushion fell off. That was me. Oh, Casey did that. I was looking for the bait wells. <laughs> Checking the bait well out. Is that one too? Let's see, this is probably, yeah, that's the, that's the um, pumps and stuff. What's in there? It's, it, it's, a bait, it's a bait well. That's a bait well. That's your release well there. Yeah. So we got that. And then does this have a fish box up front? Probably rod storage. Yeah, rod storage down there. Anchor locker. It's pretty cool. Anchor locker. What does this do? Does it go that way? Is that what it does? Yeah. Cooler? Yeah, because I mean, no, to open the door. The oh, that's how you get in the console. Right. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you got to take the. So you got to take the console out. Yeah, you unscrew it, slide it forward to get inside the console. But there's a quick access door here. Pretty cool stuff. Moved outside. Look at the yellow fence. Chris, this is what you need for the 39. You need quad 400s. Step it up from the three you got. Move to the retail section. Chuck just laughed. This is where uh, Casey's gonna pull out the black card. Start buying. This guy's a sword's got some pretty badass products. They just subscribed to the channel too. Score. Uh, Casey wants to buy me this shirt. <laughs> Is it fitting to me? <laughs> Why do they gotta be so mean? Pretty cool shirts here though. Alright, uh, still walking around checking stuff out in the retail area, so. There, there's a celebrity. Guy Harvey on video. So <laughs> thankfully, Casey hasn't bought anything yet. She's still uh, wanting the hues, so, but we're gonna go over to the water and check the boats out on the, uh, what they got there and see if we got any bay boats or flats boats there that uh, are interest to her, so. But still, checking stuff out, it's all pretty cool. More to come. Great, nice to meet you. Did you find a 
find everything you're looking for. I did. Good. I played golf. And this is my son Alex right here. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> Where do you live, Casey? Melbourne, Florida. All oh, right. Yeah. Too far away. Oh, Hi. Hi. How are you doing? That's my husband. What's your Hi guys, round two. Big S H T B. We're going to the water, checking out more boats. How big can they make a center console boat? This is getting insane. I mean, here's one that's got five, six motors on it. Holy cow. Sixty-five Estrello, six motors. I'd pucker just to freaking pay the gas bill on that, or at least even to start the boat. It's crazy. Freemans and Velas. Never heard of a Velas. More useless boats. Twelve hundred horsepower of useless. This boat's crazy. Set a boat. It's went 300 Suzuki's. Big cat. It's a hell of a looking boat. All right, Casey found one that kind of made her smile. Check us out. Six rod holders, a cup holder. Rod holder, cup holder. Rod holder, cup holder. This one's rigged out like she likes it. It's kind of a cool looking boat, but a lot of wasted space in the back. Guess it'd be pretty cool for diving. Hey guys, here's one I wanted to check out. What's up, Nick? You like that? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Casey's in the mood for a flat screen. I don't know where that video cut off, but just got done talking to Nick. He's such a cool and humble dude. Um, got to fish with him, caught my first swordfish with him not too long ago. So, but now, we're still checking out boats. It's a whole lot of horses on the backs of these things. All right, guys. I think we're about done here on the water. I'm gonna head out, but um, turn the camera back on. We see anything else cool. All right, guys, we're walking out. We're done for the day. It's been a long day, but Casey, what'd you think? I bought a boat. Thanks, Paul, from Boat Exchange. Yeah, she did a thing today. So, still got the competition coming, but Casey likes flats fishing now. So. Not before my boat. <laughs> hey, Chuck, and what did you buy today? A $6 can of water. Uh, looks like the headhunter's going shallow. Not, no, Louis too. <laughs> so, it's been a great day, great boat show. Um, had a lot of fun, got to meet uh, a lot of cool people. Heiko. We saw Heiko, uh, uh, Stephanie and Clay. Clay and Stephanie from Life by the Bow. George got to, Saw George. Guy Harvey. Guy, Guy Harvey. Harvey. I got a hat. Got to chat with Nick a little bit. Yes. And also the Florida fishing couple too. We saw them too with Heiko. So yeah, it was pretty cool today. But um, we're headed out. We're headed back to Melbourne. It's getting dark. Um, but yeah, we did a thing today. Or Casey did a thing. This is awesome. So hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe, and we'll uh, we'll keep them coming. Peace out.